If you want to know how to use essential oils, you're going to want to watch this video. Hi there, my name is Dr. Mary Lou and I am a doctor of physical therapy. If this is your first time here and want to learn how to take charge and manage your aches and pains, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. In this video, I'm going to talk about the three most common ways essential oils can be used. Essential oils can be used aromatically, topically, and ingested by mouth. A great place to start using essential oils is aromatically. This can be done by placing a drop or two of essential oils in the palm of your hand, rub them together, and inhale the aroma. You can also put a few drops of essential oils into a high quality diffuser and enjoy the benefits of the aroma for hours. To use essential oils topically, apply a few drops to the desired area of the body and rub it in. If you're new to essential oils, the bottoms of your feet are a great place to start. In order to allow your body to become acclimated to the oil and avoid sensitivity to the skin. I also recommend you avoid overusing essential oils under the arms, on the face, or other sensitive areas of the body. Take your time with these powerful oils and your body will thank you for it. For folks who are using essential oils on the skin, many apply them straight from the bottle without a carrier oil. If you find that the oil is too hot or too cold to the skin, simply apply a carrier oil such as olive or grapeseed oil until it becomes comfortable. Be sure to use a high quality carrier oil and avoid using anything containing petroleum, mineral oil, or other synthetic ingredients. I'll put a link to my favorite carrier oil in the details below. And real quick, if you have any questions about using essential oils on your skin, let me know down in the comments below. When using essential oils with your children and infants, remember these two important points. First, always use an essential oil on yourself before using it on your child. Second, be sure to dilute essential oils before applying them to your kiddos. If you have sensitive skin, consider doing a patch test with any essential oil you're trying for the first time. Start by applying one to two drops of the oil to your forearm and watch for a reaction over the next couple of hours. If you experience discomfort or irritation, simply apply a carrier oil to the affected area until it becomes comfortable. This will give you an idea of how much carrot oil to use with the essential oil when applying it in the future. Essential oils can also be ingested by mouth a few different ways. You can put one to two drops of oil directly on the tongue. You can put a few drops into an empty vegetable capsule and take it with water. And you can also add them to your food and water for a burst of flavor. Using essential oils aromatically, topically, or internally is easy to do. It only takes a small amount of oil to make a huge difference to your environment, your food and drinks, and your overall well-being. Thank you so much for checking out this video. Please subscribe by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Remember to move well, feel well, and be well.